Hi there and welcome to the channel or welcome back if you've been here before. This is Astley Falls in Connemara on the west coast of Ireland. It's a place that I photographed countless times but always head on like this and I just found I was constantly repeating myself. I needed to find something different. I stood back further than I normally would and I noticed the foam as it made its way down the river and I wondered could I incorporate that into a long exposure. So this is the image where I'm going to be working on today and here's a preview of how the finished image looks. This image was taken on a Fuji X-T3 with a 10 to 24 millimeter zoom at the wide end and uh, I was using a square filter system on it and that's caused quite a lot of vignetting. You can see the, the edges of the, f the of the frame are much, much darker than the center. It's one of the problems using the square filter systems. But uh, we're gonna correct that today the tutorial is mainly going to be about making local adjustments to bring out the areas that we want to uh, emphasize. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is change the color profile to Adobe Landscape. And I'm going to change the white balance. I want to cool it down a bit. Uh, the, the water looks quite murky and dirty looking. So I'm just going to use the eyedropper tool and find a patch that I want to be white in the water somewhere maybe around about here and straight away I think it just looks much cleaner and cooler and colder as well and from here now I'm going to first of all go on to using a linear gradient filter on the sky area and I'm going to just use some dehaze on that bringing it up just to bring out the detail in the sky um, and one of the problems with using dehaze is that it can create quite a bit of noise in the sky area. So I'm going to compensate for that by dragging down the texture, dragging down the clarity, dragging down the clar this sharpness and increasing the noise reduction. And the next thing I want to work on is this whole area in the bottom of the image. Uh, it's very, very cold by comparison to the, the water in the waterfall. So I'm going to create a radial gradient for this area dragging out quite a large one I grab the center spot and pull it down so that the effect is feathered as it works its way through and we just warm that up a little bit dragging the color temperature slider up just until it takes that coldness out of it maybe not completely it might do it an, another gradient maybe in a, in a moment just get it halfway there for, for now if we can and the next thing i want to do is just to balance out the the exposures the the area around the trees particularly here is completely dark uh, and some of the sky is very dark as well so i'm going to do another radio gradient and <coughs> this time i'm going to drag it from this left corner i'm trying to just select the areas that i don't want affected i'll drag it down to about here so now when I invert it, I have a selection of the area that I want to brighten up. So the first thing we'll do is go into the shadows and bring them up. And the exposure. Just bringing out some of the detail in the trees. I'm going to do another radial gradient on this top. Oops, that didn't work. We'll try that again. On this top right area here. Bring it down a little bit so it's not affecting the sky and take the exposure up a little bit more there as well. I'm okay with the, the top of the image being dark because I don't want your eye to be drawn out of there. Now one more radial gradient, this time on this bright patch of sky here. And drag it up a little bit and just pull the highlights down. Again, so that it's not a distraction. Now, next thing I'm going to do is just try and work on this bottom area, try and balance out the color temperature a little bit and bring up those, those whites. So I'm going to go back into this second mask that I created. I drag up the whites and the highlights. And maybe bring that temperature back down a little bit because I want some of the coolness 
in the image to stay to be to still be there. And what we'll do now is put another radial gradient to the bottom left area here where it's still very very cool and quite dark. And I might just rotate it a little bit so that it's more targeted. Let's bring the exposure up on that. Temperature again. I don't want to get warm tones in some of the water and you can see here that it's kind of warm and over here is cool so I want to try and uh, avoid doing that if I can. So we might have to just limit it to there and bring the whites up and now we're getting much more of a, a balanced effect. I might just drag the feathering out on that and then pull it back a little bit. Maybe take the highlights up a little as well. Now I've noticed the area in around the waterfall itself, the whites are getting quite blown out. So we'll do another radial gradient on that. I'm just pulling down the highlights, getting them back under control. That's much better. Okay, now we have a few more adjustments to make. And one more radial gradient onto the left side of the waterfall here and the, the area of the, the hill beside it, which is really dark. And I'm going to try and align that with the hill. And we bring up the exposure, I think. I may bring up the shadows a little bit, just to open that area up. And another radial gradient, just into this area down here. Again, just taking out the shadows, opening it up a little bit. And now the last few adjustments that I want to make are just in the area of the water down here, and maybe a couple of global adjustments as well. So we'll go back up to our masking tool. I'm going to use a linear gradient this time, just dragging it up across the area of the water here. And I'm just going to drag in some clarity, which will make the streaks in the water stand out a little bit more. Okay, so that's that done. Now we go to our global adjustments. If we go into the basic tab, uh, I'm looking at the histogram at the top right here and I think I can pull the blacks down a little bit just to get it right against the edge. And similarly with the whites, just dragging it very slightly to the right. Again, just creating a little bit more contrast in the image. And finally, a little magic slider here at the bottom, the blue saturation, blue primary saturation, which really always seems to lift a landscape image. Um, it's tempting to overdo it, so you've got to be a little bit restrained with it. And that's it. Um, if I was continuing on with the image, I might just clone out some of the distractions on the on the hillside over here. Um, I think maybe actually this area in the top right could do it a little bit more of uh, a lift. So we'll go radial gradient again. I just drag this out of the way into here. I think just think they're darkening the the black point brought it down a little bit too much. So let's collapse that down and slide it out of the way. And there we have our finished image. I hope you found it interesting and useful. So please do hit the like button if you did and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more content like this. I have lots more to show you. Thanks for that and uh, see you next time.